Hello everyone, time to wake up and get started with the day. I'm going to start off by using my two favorite primers, the Maybelline Baby Skin and the Benefit Professional. And I'm only going to be putting this on half of my face. This is another uh, before and after uh, with half the face. We're going to start by concealing and highlighting all in one step. I'm going to put this underneath my eye in a triangle shape as well as over and under the brow. Um, in the middle of the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, a little bit around the nose to cover that redness, the cupid's bow, and a little bit on the chin as well. I'm going to start the blending process by tapping or pressing the product into my skin and I'm also going to be sure to put some of this concealer on my eyelid just to cancel out the darkness that I have on my eyelids so that the colors that we put on the shadows will be a little bit more pigmented and then I'm going to finish the blending process off by using a nice damp beauty blender. I'm going to use a small stippling brush. Mine is from e.l.f., only $3. I'm going to use that to tap out a little bit of the concealer that's underneath the eye because I tend to get a lot of creasing in my under eye area. And then I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent to set the concealer that I put on my face. So I like to pack it on underneath the eye and then use a fluffy brush to uh, swirl some around the rest of the face just to make sure everything is nice and set. Then I'm going to use a nude liner and line my waterline with that. A uh, nude liner is a nice trick to just open up and brighten up the eyes a bit. Now I'm going to add some color back into the face or bronze the face with my L'Oreal True Match Powder. I'm gonna put that on my forehead, temple, cheekbones, chin, and a little bit on the side of the nose. Now I'm going to go back in and contour the face. For that I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Powder. I'm going to put that in the same places that I put the previous powder. When it comes to chiseling out my cheekbones and contouring the side of my nose, I like to use the same fluffy brush and just flatten it out with my fingers. That way I have more control over where I lay the product on my face. Don't forget to drag the product down your neck, that way everything is blended seamlessly and you don't have that mask effect. Also this is a great way to contour your jawline and your dub chin if you have one. I have a friend Rachel who always laughs at how long I take contouring my double chin. I'm going to use a shadow out of the Sephora palette. Um, and I'm actually going to use that as my highlighter. This is my favorite shadow in the palette and I use this to highlight every single day. I'm going to put that on the high points of my cheekbones, a little bit over the brow, down the bridge of the nose, and I'm also going to put that on my cupid's bow. Sometimes I put some on the chin and sometimes I put some on the forehead, but the chin and forehead are areas that I don't do every single day. When highlighting my cupid's bow and the upper lip area, I like to make a kissy face. It just raises the area up and it's just easier for me to highlight that way. That's my older son in the background giving me hugs. Don't mind. And don't forget to blend everything out. My next step is going to be blush. When applying blush, I like to start at the apples of my cheeks and work my way back to my temple, right along my contour, right in between the contour and the highlight actually. And I put a bit on my forehead, nose, and chin just to balance it out. And to clean up the contour, I'm going to go back in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just press it into the skin. I'm going to let that sit and bake. I also put some on the bridge of the nose and on the forehead to control shine throughout the day. Next I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony. This is life, my holy grail brow product. I'm not going to go too in depth with this because I do plan on posting a tutorial um, just on how I do my brows, so just stay tuned for that. 
I'm just going to use an eyeshadow brush. Mine is by e.l.f. and it was only $1. And this orange by Milani. I'm going to pack that on the lid and bring it right up to my crease, but trying not to bring it up any higher. I'm going to be using this Sephora palette for all of my crease colors, but for right now I'm just going to use the bright orange shade and I'm going to pack that right over the other orange shade that we already have on the lid just to intensify the color a bit. Now with a blending brush, we're going to pick up this light mauve color from the palette. We're going to start at the outer edge of the eye, work all the way through the crease to the inner corner. This is going to give us a nice light wash of color. Nothing too intense because I do want to keep this look daytime appropriate. Going in with this soft pink nude color, I'm going to bring this right up above over the crease and softly blend that in just to soften up any harsh edges. To add some definition to the eye, we're going to use this dark brown color. I like to apply it in a straight line toward the tail of my brow and then drag it in a little bit, kind of in the shape of a triangle. And take your time blending. Don't rush through the blending process. You really want this to be a nice seamless look. I like to kind of just stick the brush right in the socket of the eye and just work with the natural shape of my eye socket. Now I'm going to use a flat eyeshadow brush. This one is from Sonia Kashuk. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a drop of eye drops on there and make sure that the brush is thoroughly saturated. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to go in with these two shimmery shades and the eye drops will actually intensify the shimmer in those two eyeshadows. When applying this, I'm just going to keep it on the center of the lid and then I'm going to go in on the inner corner and add some more of the orange just to bring that color back through and brighten it up a bit. I'm going to be using the white shadow out of this NYX Smoky palette to highlight my brow bone. I like to start in the center of the brow and work my way towards the tail. And when I have the least amount of product on the brush, I'll drag that into the beginning of the brow. Then I'm going to blend that out with a blending brush lightly just to make sure that there are no harsh lines. To clean up that outer edge a bit, I'm going to go back in with my damp beauty blender that still has some concealer on it and also follow that with my Rimmel uh, Stay Matte Powder and Translucent and then you're going to want to take a fluffy brush and just blend that out. To set my brows and keep everything in place, I'm going to use a clear brow sculpting gel by Ardell. For liner, I'm going to be using my Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black. This is hands down the best gel liner from the drugstore. I'm going to start working on the lower lash line by first using this dark brown on the outer third of the lower lash line. Then I'm going to go in with this gold cream liner uh, by NYX. These are so creamy and so pigmented, it's insane. I definitely need more colors. This is gonna serve as the base for the gold glitter. I'm just gonna go back in with that brown really quickly and intensify the outer corner. And this is the star of the show. It's a NYX product, it's a gold glitter liner. I'm just gonna put that right over the creamy gold liner that we just applied. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go back to the same eyeshadow that we used to highlight the face. I'm going to put that on the inner corner and on the um, remaining third of the lower lash line. And then take a blending brush and just blend that right onto the orange on the lid. Now I'm just going to brush away the excess powder that I have on my face and then I'm going to curl my lashes to prepare them for mascara. I'm not going to be using falsies today, so instead I'm going to be using two mascaras. One is Maybelline's The Falsies Volume Express, and the second is my Holy Grail 
Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm just going to apply those on the top and bottom lashes until I'm happy with the results. The final step in this look is the lip product. I don't remember the name of this color, but I will have it listed down below. Um, I love this color because it's um, kind of like an orangey, pinky kind of color. It's very fun and flirty, but still very daytime appropriate. Here's the before. And here is the after. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, please feel free to leave any comments, suggestions, or requests down below. And stay tuned for my next look.